Okay, so I went ahead and I did the research, and it was three minutes. Um, that's not a long time, but I was, while I was waiting for that to finish, I did a couple of other things. Did a little bit of, uh, you know, thinking about how I want to do stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a, uh, a novice uh, researcher. Where's he at there? There we are. So in order to make a novice researcher, we need a basic quill. So let's go over here and see what we need to make a basic quill. It's under miscellaneous. So there we are, a basic quill. Requires one iron ingot, a stick, and a feather. Well, let's see. One iron ingot. And do we have any sticks in here? No, no wood. Okay, a feather. And let's go get a little bit of wood. Did I leave any of that wood over here? I did. So let's go ahead and pull our jungle wood out. And this way here, uh, I can go ahead and tell this researcher to do the work for me. So we've got one iron ingot. Let's go ahead and make some sticks. And I did go ahead and I pulled out the uh, two furnaces and the crafting table that were in here because they're really just not needed right now. So let's go ahead and do this. This is only going to take three seconds. So that's why I'm doing this on camera. And now let's go ahead and see what we need for our researcher. Research book. Recruit. Let's see, I think we can probably just search in here, can't we? There we go. So we do have a nice little search feature. So novice researcher to craft that. There's our quill. We need four food. And one piece of paper. Let's see, papers up here. There we go, six seconds. Not a problem for that. And make sure we've got our baton ready so we can tell him where his food's at. So, we have a researcher. Now, let's see, this one here is home. So, here's your home. And then we want to set his upkeep target. And we're going to bring him out here. And we're going to say, get your food here. And now we're going to bring him back inside. And grab our research book. Put it in the research station. And let's try this Q thing going on here. Oh, wow. Look at that list. So if we go to research here, and let's say we want to start working on some more civilian engineering. Okay, so we need three torches, three sticks, three string, six paper, and what was it, three ink sacks. Let's go ahead and double check that. So, three string, three ink sacks. It doesn't matter where you put them. Oh, and six paper. Yeah, seems to need twice as much paper as anything else. So, we're going to put that in. And he's not doing anything. Oh, yeah, he's still following me. So, we're going to tell him to stop following. And let's see. If I tell that to start, and then I walk away, is he going to come over and work on it? Yes, he is. There we go. He is researching for us. Yay. So, at this point, I may want to go ahead and make another research book. Just so I can leave one in there for him to be working on, and one for me to go ahead and be building other things. So, that has another two minutes. So, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get at least the better routing slips, but I may go ahead and make the Adept uh, Courier as well, because he can hold two routing slips, so he can do a lot more stuff. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make another research book for us. In order for that, we need two gold ingots, three paper, and four leather. Well, we know we've got quite a bit of leather. Let's see. It was three paper two gold ingots, and 
for leather. Now, if I make this, is it going to be everything that I had previously? Basically, will they mirror? Let's go ahead and find out. Okay, so let's go with that. Another research book. Okay, I just bound it. Now, if I put it in here, do I have everything? Yes, there's all the adept and our miscellaneous, such as an intermediate routing slip. This is something that we definitely, definitely want. And that's because it allows us to have six routing slots on one routing slip. So let's go ahead and start getting what we need. So there's that. Let's go get two more paper. Okay, I know we needed some lapis, and we're gonna need to get some more roses. So there's our paper, lapis, two iron, and let's grab some bone meal. Now, why do I want bone meal? Well, that's because we need some roses. So how are we gonna get roses? Grab this bone meal, and we're gonna come out here and we're gonna bone meal the grass. And look at that. We just got a rose. So let's see if we can get some more here. Now, looks like we're getting lots of yellow flowers. So early on, if, if you're in need of, uh, you know, some seeds to get a farm started, some uh, flowers to make dye, and, you know, you can kill some skeletons. Well, just uh, turn their bones into some bone meal and start whacking away. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this bone meal back. Now we've got plenty of roses. Okay, we need two of those. Nine seconds and start. So this will allow six slots, and one of the reasons why we need to do this is because we're really starting to get uh, to the point where we need more slots. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, it's got nothing because we haven't told it to do anything. So one of the things we're going to want to happen is we're going to need somebody to come over here, and we're going to do a pickup of, let's see, in here we've got eggs, raw chicken, and feathers. So we're going to go ahead and take one of each of these. And from this location, okay, uh, everything is coming from the side. So we need to make sure when we do this, we tell it uh, from a direction, not up or down. So we're going to have him pick up feathers and eggs and raw chicken okay and any of any amount of those items so the next thing we're gonna have him do is we're gonna have him come over here and in here we're gonna hit that we want him to place eggs okay what that's gonna do is it's gonna fill this up and all the eggs that we get will end up turning into more chickens, so we really aren't going to need to use our seeds to breed them. So that's just one of those things, and that's how it's going to be working. So next we need to pick up all of the different colors of wool. Now unfortunately we're going to run out of space, because if we've got 16 kinds of wool, we've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different slots to put items in. So let's come on over here and I'm just gonna make a little bit of room here in my inventory and oh I wish we had uh, inventory tweaks. So we've got white wool, we've got red wool, got blue, orange, purple, black, yellow, there's some more purple, Okay, I've already got the yellow. Let's see. Let's get these out of the way for right now. So let's go ahead and start with those that we've got. So we want to pick up yellow and black, purple, 
orange, blue, white, and red. Okay, we need to make sure we tell him to deposit any of the eggs that he gets there. We're going to pick up any of these colors. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't just read the, uh, the metadata and say wool. Uh, apparently, this is reading the uh, NBT, which I believe is going to have all the different colors. Or maybe I've got that backwards. Um, don't do any programming these days, so I'm not exactly sure. So we've got these colors. Now we're going to go in here and let's see the different colors that we need. White, red, orange, purple, black, yellow. So we need a magenta. We need a cyan. We need a light blue. We need a brown. And we need yellow, or no, we already did yellow. So let's go ahead and see. I don't think we did lime, gray, or green. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we've got one more for this slot. So let's go ahead and make it the green one. Okay, and then we want to do a pickup at the same location again for all the other colors that we did not get yet. So we're going to come over here and we're going to click it again and this time we're going to have it do the gray, the lime, the brown, light blue, magenta, and cyan and any of those and we need to make sure that we're picking up out of the side so as long as it doesn't say up or down it's one of the sides so that's fine so we've got two more colors here that we can add in so let's go ahead and put these in magenta light blue brown okay the lime cyan and gray so we did get green didn't we pink I'm just gonna double check here magenta I'm sure we got Ooh, light gray so let's go ahead and see what colors we don't have so we have the green so let's throw in a pink and a light gray so that looks like all of them and we're doing any so these numbers don't matter at all um, anybody out there who's got some OCD will just do that okay so everything looks good there so then what are we gonna do with it well next we need to put it somewhere so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop these back off inside and let's go ahead and use our brand new warehouse now let's see where it needs to go it doesn't have any indication for side or top or anything like that so we're just gonna click it there and now we can scroll down here and what we can see is we're going to have to tell it basically we're gonna drop off and let's see if we can tell it to put anything in its inventory let's try that that way we don't have to specify now we might have been able to tell it to pick up anything in there but I did go and specify we'll see if the drop-off works and if so then that means we can clear all of these out and it'll just pick up anything that's in there so let's go ahead and try this and see how it works uh, let's go ahead and make it daytime so we're gonna sleep and once we do that and that's working then we'll go ahead and we'll end the episode and for some reason I'm falling into the wall now let's get back downstairs by the time we get down there they should start heading out so let's find our courier he just got away so we know he's gonna go get some food come here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pull out his basic routing slip and we're going to put in this intermediate one. And you go. 
So, let's watch him and see what he's going to do. He should be coming over here. Picking up all the goodies out of here. Okay, he's off and running. He should be throwing the eggs in here. There we go, we can see him do that. Check his inventory. Alright, so next he's going back over there. So for some reason he didn't want to move on to the next step yet. So let's see if he does that now. Okay, he's coming over here and he's picking up don't follow me, I want to see your inventory. Okay, so we got some stuff there. Let's see where he goes next. So he's not really following the order that I put those in. Maybe we need an adept courier to uh, follow it more exactly. So we know that he's going to keep filling that up. Eventually he'll get caught up on that. What we want him to do is pick up this stuff. Okay, what do we have in there? Let me go and just break that. That doesn't need to be there. Okay, so we know he's picking it up. Okay, now let's see where he's going to go with it. He should say, hey, I've got no inventory. Let's go put it somewhere. But he's, he's still playing around with this for some reason. Once he's unable to uh, put anything in there, he should go over to his next location. Now it's possible that I may need to give him a patrol route to follow. Just to kind of force him to go the way I want him to go. So let's see what he's going to do now. He's going to come over here. And did he put anything in? I don't see that he put anything in. Where are you going and what are you doing? Okay, we know his inventory is pretty full. So, he's trying to path. So, let's go ahead and we'll try giving him patrol points. So, you, follow me. First, you're going to come here. Then you're going to come here. Then you're going to come over to here. And then you're going to come over to here. And go to work. Let's see if that helps. Now, another advantage of making an adept courier versus the novice is it will also increase the size of his internal storage. And that's because he's made with a higher level uh, backpack when you make him. So he really shouldn't have anything to do there because his inventory is full. Let's see if he comes over here. Let's see interfacing. So for some reason he doesn't seem to be putting anything into it. Let's see... You know, did I do something wrong with that routing slip? Let's find out if I did something wrong on that routing slip. So, let's grab your routing slip here, buddy. And let's take a look at it. So, okay. It must be because we didn't tell him what to deposit. So, that means we're going to need to do all the different colors of wool individually. So, that's why he's not getting rid of anything. So, let's go ahead and take care of that. So what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to do all the white wool. So we're going to tell you to put all the white wool in there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come over here, and I'm going to put all the white wool in here manually, just so it's already done. And I'm going to pull out this dirt and other stuff so that uh, we know there's plenty of room. It's just saying wool. Okay, so let's grab the next one, which is going to be red. Okay, 
and next you're going to deposit red wool. So once we figure out how to do everything, then uh, you know we shouldn't have any trouble. 